Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 23. And you can see I can get this upgrade, it's very cheap compared to what I have now. I have 250,000 galaxy points, so yeah, let's get that. And now I want to actually go for some challenge completions. First off, I just want to get challenge 12 done so I can automatically be crunch. This will be this will be pretty um, useful later on. Like especially once I start getting more infinities. So, yeah, I'll also, um, I think I did receive a comment that said that the Big Crunch Autobiar, it costed infinity points rather than galaxy points to upgrade. So, that's a little sad. Um, I didn't even see what the challenge was all about. I just went right into it. It's each normal dimension produces the dimension 2 tiers before. First dimensions produce reduced antimatter. Galaxies are far more powerful. Okay, so it's like the same as and all the other New Game Minus X mods. But I, I have to get these time dimension shifts going first. And maybe I shouldn't be... Maybe I shouldn't be ha having all the automation going. I, I don't know. Maybe it's better to do this. I have three time dimension shifts now. Um, I'm not sure. I probably want the fourth one. Uh, I, th I think I just want regular dimension shifts. Yeah, New Game... This... Okay, I'm going to disable auto buyers here because this challenge is hard. I have 250,000 galaxy points, and I'm barely getting anywhere with it. So, yeah, maybe I don't even want to do this challenge. Perhaps I want to get the many deaths achievement beforehand because this is all normal dimensions are stronger the first three minutes of infinity, and you gain 1% of, of galaxy points getting galactic sacrifice each second. I may try to go for that, or maybe there's something else I could try to get that is possible. I don't give a good reward. I could just try to get spreading cancer at this point. But, yeah, you can see how slow this is. Um, I can't even really do much. I guess I can get, and this is pretty cheap, um, so I can get that, and then I can get this. I'm not sure if I can beat this challenge, because I, I only need to get to Galactic Sacrifice, but... Challenge 12 is notoriously hard in the New Game Minus X mods. So, yeah, this is gonna... Maybe I should just have some automation going. Um, because perhaps I could actually... If I had good automation, I could actually... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm, I, I could actually, you know, beat the challenge just off camera. Just having having the automation do all the work. So that's what I'm going to do. I, I think it's possible, but it'll take hours. So... That's, that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back an hour later, and for some reason, the game got rid of all my galaxy points and galaxy upgrades. I am angry. This bug needs to be fixed. I don't know what causes it, but it is, it is a major bug, and I'm going to try to use the console to fix this bug. And I think that's why Channel 12 is so low. So, so slow. This bug. Okay, I've gotten most of my galaxy points back using um, console commands. I don't even know how to how to get galaxy points using the console. So I had to just manipulate galaxies and dimension boosts to give me something reasonably close to what I, I actually have. So now I'm just going to get all these upgrades again. I don't know why the game did this to me. Really didn't need to do this. Maybe it's when I start a challenge. I um, says just just says you'll gain galact you'll galactic sacrifice without gaining anything. Some galaxy point multipliers won't work in the challenge, and I just lose all my galaxy points. Maybe this is special to challenge twelve. I I don't get it. If if this is intentional, please say this. This is actually this says something else. You'll start over with just your infinity overs and achievements. You need to reach infinity with special conditions. The fourth infinity upgrade column doesn't work on challenges. Have I not read that? Okay. I I really don't like that. It should say that you, like, it's, since it's so different than all the other challenges here, it should just say you need to reach infinity and you lose all your galaxy points. Maybe a little clearer, like, in this description. So, okay. I I did not know that was a thing. I really thought that challenge 12 was just like all the others. So, I guess what I'm going to try to do instead is go for many deaths, and that will um, help me a lot. So, 
If I just go into here, get go into this challenge, I should have enough galaxy points that it'll be super easy to beat the challenge. And yeah, there is many deaths. So I could even try to get anti-challenge or not anti-challenge, but get I could try to lower my challenge times, but there's not really all that much point in doing it at this point. I mean, there is this, but it's not that powerful. So I think just getting many deaths is huge. And what I'm actually going to do now is I'm, I want to get spreading cancer. So this means I have to go into cancer notation for just a little bit. It won't be that much. Just need to do a few runs like this, and I'll be able to um, get the achievement. And then maybe now I should just push for infinity. Actually, not quite. What I want to do is, actually, while I'm getting the spreading cancer, is that this automatic sacrifice, I want this to be 600.1. Because it may there may be some rounding errors if I don't if I do exactly 600. Because I'm also trying to get the gods are please. That's going to be kind of useful. I don't think it's going to be that useful. But maybe it's really better than I think. Um... Having the many deaths achievement is really good. Like the you gain one percent of galaxy points gained on galactic sacrifice per second, and I'm surprised at how I don't have spreading cancer yet. I should have that. How many? How many? Um, I feel like I've gotten ten galaxies while using cancer notation. I'm actually gonna check this using the console because I've surely done enough runs to do that. I'm getting two galaxies per run. Okay, I'm, I'm literally in the console, and it's at 832, which is more than 10, by the way. Actually, that's, that's, not, the, that's not the achievement. What am I doing? That, that's not the right variable. It's this one. Can't, spreading cancer. Why is it stuck at 2? I've surely bought 10 galaxies in cancer notation. I'm just going to give myself the achievement using the console, because this is ridiculous. Like, this is another bug, because... Like, in the vanilla game, it's not about the max galaxies you get. It's just about the total galaxies you get. So, yeah, I'm just going to do... Uh, I think it's just give achievement. Uh, not this one, but... Um, I think if I just do spreading cancer. Spreading cancer. And export first. I'm using the console. And, okay, there's the achievement. So... Yes, I, I know I had to use the console for that, but I should have gotten it using the normal rules of that achievement. So, I, I've had to do this a number of times across many many of the games. So, yeah, I think what I now want to do is I, I think I want to try going on a slightly longer run here to possibly try to push to infinity. At this point, I'm, I could have enough, I probably have enough galaxy points here that it'll be possible to reach infinity. So I don't even have automatic time dimension shift. So this is something I must do like late in the infinities. So even though it does mean I have to reset all my dimension boosts, I actually, maybe a better option is just disable all of these and disable this and disable the automatic dimension boosts because now I can control quicker and yeah, I can I can buy max of this, and um, I think it, it does not buy max of time dimension boosts. I think 12's the last safe one here. Um, I can get this. I probably yeah, I'm just gonna do that, and then I can probably go up to 13, not just 12 at this point, but that will be okay um, because that's still a bunch of time dimension boosts. Get the 13th. And get the 13th here, and okay, it's not as powerful. I thought I was going to be much more able to reach the 5th galaxy. I mean, I think I should be doing long runs at this point, because now I'm getting 1% of galaxy points gained per second, and that's going to probably be better. And there is the gods are please achievement, so that's what I was going for, um, which means the sacrifice is slightly stronger. Also, I probably should just exit out of cancer notation. This and just go back into scientific, and this will allow me to uh, do a lot more stuff. So now I'm actually going to get a galaxy here, and maybe with this I'll be able to. What is this? This this is just the fifth galaxy. I'm not sure if I'm going to fully be able, but if I 
I'm just gonna make this automation instead of 660, which is just better overall. And yeah, just just do do the normal thing. Just get um get as many dimension boosts and then tick speed boosts. I think oh, is 11 the max safe? And I think I can go up to 16 without having everything else be reset. And yeah, I think I mean I could do on I could do. I could just use automation for this, but I think it may just be a better idea to do some of this manually. Um, because now now I can gain, it looks like I'm going to gain with this. I I mean, maybe it's not quite as good as the, like, as optimal strategies, but I'm still going to get, that's 140 galaxy points per minute, and I can be doing it while I'm sort of pushing, like trying to get as far as I can. Yeah, so this is the first time where it gets reset, um, and just maybe I could even just get as many time dimension boosts as possible because late, later on, um, I you get like more time dimension boosts than regular, um, regular dimension boosts, which is annoying. How I have to do this? Maybe I should have the automation going, but yeah, I I'm not exactly sure I'm supposed to get to E three oh eight from here, but Maybe once I just get enough galaxy points, I'll I'll make it. So yeah, seen a bit. Okay, so it looks like I have reached infinity again. So yeah, we're gonna big crunch, and yeah, it looks like I'm I'm just gonna get this upgrade, the increase the um, multiply for buying ten dimensions based on affinities. So that's gonna definitely help later parts of the infinities, and I got most of the achievements I wanted. So, I feel pretty satisfied with this infinity. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.